Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. So just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. This one's a little unusual. This is another one of the YouTube hacks. Um, what I saw was someone was stirring a can of paint with a whisk attached to a drill. So let's see what happens. What I did was, is on my table here, I did put down a paint tarp uh, just in case. So this is my first time doing it. I haven't done it before. I took this from the kitchen. Don't tell my wife. All right. I'll clean it. Don't worry. All right. So what we have here is we have a can of paint. We're going to open it up. I have not shaken it. I have not stirred it. I have not had it fresh from the store. This has been sitting uh, for about two or three months. So you're going to see maybe a little separation. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this. Fit in there. I think I gotta. I gotta take the little thing here. Let me see if I can open that up a little bit further. Will it go a little bit? Nope. I gotta. Gotta. Gotta squeeze that just a little bit. I gotta squeeze that just a little bit to make it fit. Already. Already. I have to do something different. But that doesn't mean it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna squeeze this together so it fits in the drill. Okay, and there we go. It goes in. Now we're going to tighten this up. Okay, it's kind of weird already. See what I mean? All right, let's try and straighten that out just a little bit more. Maybe this has to be clipped off. Let's try. Let's you know what? Let's clip that off. Let's clip that off completely because that, if it's not on there straight, it's not going to work. I'm already wrecking her, wrecking her household items. She's going to be real pleased with me. All right. Let's try this again. Ooh, much nicer. Okay. All right. So if you're going to use this kind of a whip, take that end off which means it's probably not going to go back into the utility drawer so she can uh, make batter with it. All right, so I have, a, this is a variable speed drill. Some of your drills, you just touch it and it goes on full blast. This, this one, I can start out real slow up to a pretty good speed. All right, so let's try it. I'm going to put it right inside. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Let's see what kind of a depth we got. That's what you see. Okay. I'm going to start it out real slow. Because there's going to be some resistance with the thickness of the paint and the whip. I'm just going around the edges. You see if anything, if, if any of the paint settled down at the bottom. I'm trying to make that come up a little bit. I'm not lifting this up, I'm still riding the bottom. I still got the whip all the way down at the bottom. And I just increased the speed just ever so slightly.
I'm trying to get everything. Now I'm towards the center on the bottom still. I haven't raised this up yet because I'm afraid that that paint's going to splat all over. I got this going at a low speed, but that doesn't mean it's not going to start flying. But I can see that the, that the paint is actually whipping up pretty good. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit, kind of like a hand mixer. I'm pulling it out real slow, as you can see I'm not, I just want some of that paint that's on the whip to stay back in the, in the can. You know, you know what will happen if I turn this on full blast. It will go all over the place and that's something I do not want to happen. So, I guess you can ask yourself, Does it work? Yeah, it works. Is it advisable? No, no. It's it's a it's a kind of a cool thing. I mean, if you're if you don't have a stir stick, um, if you don't have a stir stick, use something else. Um, but I wouldn't use a I would not use uh, a whip like this. Although it does work and it seems to work well, I don't think that somebody who is really using their head would use a pastry whip to, uh, to stir paint with. Um, use anything else. Use an old ruler if you've got it. If you don't have a paint stick, use a shim. If you don't have a shim, get a stick from outside. Get anything else besides a paint whip. Does it work? Yes, it works. Is it kind of very delicate to do it? Oh yeah, because this stuff will fly if you're not careful. So I'm going to just take this off here. Maybe I'll just hide it back in the utility drawer like this and see if I get a reaction from her. I won't do that. That would be wrong. <laughs> so, uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it, but does it work? Yes. Is it a hack? Uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a hack that works, but I would never use. And that's my opinion on that. But uh, I had a good time trying it. Um, if you've got other hacks that you want me to try, please, please, please put them down in the comments. And um, uh, if it's not too ridiculous, I will give it a shot and see what happens and we'll, we'll, we'll share it with you. If you would, please just uh, subscribe down here at the bottom. There's some sort of a button sound down there. And thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.